Hello. Hey y'all, I am here with you today to check out and review some new products by Shani Cosmetics. Fun, fun fact, Shani Cosmetics is actually the very first eyeshadow palette that I ever owned. It was from Shani Cosmetics. I think it was a 180 color eyeshadow palette that I caught on sale for about $25. Excuse me. That lasted me for like the first like two years until I broke it. <laughs> I have not tried any of these specific products here. They sent me um, a brush set, a couple of eyeshadow palettes, lip pencils, lipsticks, um, and yeah. I am very excited to get into this with you. Let's go ahead and get to the makeup. But first, I don't have any like base products from them in terms of like creams and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay down my base off camera and I will be back with you in just a second. Okay. I'm back, I have my base on, let's get to seeing what some of these products are, Miss Mama. <laughs> let's pull out the eyeshadow palettes first. First we've got Revival Palette, 21 color eye and cheek palette. It's cute. I really enjoy the packaging on this. I don't know if you can see this. Um, they sent two of them, they both have slightly different coloring on the packaging, which I'm um, looking at the back where it gives you a layout of the palette it looks like the coloring on the front side of this packaging actually is um reflective of the colors that are actually inside of the palette so that's really cute that's thoughtful and um yeah i really like this packaging it feels nice it's almost um it's smooth and softy is that like uh, i don't know i'm bad with descriptive words it's pretty this is a second eyeshadow palette that they sent this one is called revival remix palette 21 color eye and cheek palette this is revival remix and this is just revival these are the two eyeshadow palettes they also sent me a a brush set pulling out another eyeshadow palette over here called the RSVP party 24 color pressed glitter palette it's cute very very cute it's in a cardboard sleeve as you can see here it is very very cute they put a lot of attention into their packaging for these new products absolutely love that we also have a uh, cream lipsticks shiny loving coral 10 piece cream lipstick set this is nice. That's a nice range of colors there. And again, this is another packaging thing. It's so cute. They also sent me some Dreamy Dozen 12-piece matte lip liner set. Yes, thank the Lord. Um, thank Shandy. <laughs> they sent a brush cleaner, which I will be um, giving a shot after I do my makeup. And a tiny little package right here that looks like it has... Let's see. It has a pop socket, wake up and makeup, shiny. A sharpener, thank you, absolutely necessary. <laughs> and I'm guessing it's it's sealed up, but I'm guessing this is like a, a lip balm, like a roll on lip balm. I'm not entirely sure. Perhaps I will open that up a little later in the video. Maybe, maybe not. I guess we'll see. Well, first things first, we're going to go ahead and pat on our loose powder. I like to just pat a layer of loose powder on. I don't want to pack it into the skin. I just pat it right on top, you know, as a protective layer from fallout just in case. <coughs> just a little bit there. Just to give us that little bit of fallout protection. Let's go ahead and get into the brush set so that we can see all of what is in here for us to work with. <laughs> but here we go. This is to go ahead and um, pull out brushes as we use them. We are going to use all shiny cosmetics brushes from here on out for the rest of my face let's go ahead and open up the eyeshadow palettes i want to go ahead and get into these right now i don't have a pair of scissors oh yes i do i lied i do i was using these the other day they're like meat scissors but i was using them for things um that didn't involve cooking so i'm sorry meat scissors I apologize this is the revival palette this this packaging is, is is some of my my favorite it's comparable um to the like morphe packaging um but i actually prefer this i think this is really nice oh look this is my number one thing look at this mirror oh oh <laughs> this makes me so happy but take a look at these colors 
Uh, should I do some swatches? I guess I should do some swatches. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of everyone. Let's try Awoken, which is going to be this lightest shade right here. Let's give it just a little swirl. Let's give it a little swatch. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. She's pretty. She's pretty. We're going to go ahead and jump right to the one next to it, which I think is like an interesting peach. It's a kind of an interesting peachy shade called On Fire. Let's go ahead and give this one a go. Just give it a little bit there. I feel like this is definitely one that you're going to want to use with a primer. It is barely there. Let's go ahead and try some of the darker shades, a couple of the darker shades. I want to try this darkest purple here, Come Back. Ooh, okay nice and dark as you, you can see that it has that shimmer to it here on the finger let's see uh, Ooh, yeah that one's nice I do like that one you can see that one right away and then the other one I want to try is going to be avenged right here interesting it's very very sheer um, it's really just kind of hardly coming up but let me tell you right now for those of you that are not super familiar with makeup shadow things like shadows makeup in general performs differently when it's being used um, the way it's actually supposed to be used which is applying it with a brush um, onto your eyelid I can't get over opening up to this huge mirror that is fantastic <gasps> Huge mirror. That is oh. Um, but that is fine. Stuff happens during shipping. I don't blame that on Shani. Um, Y'all don't even understand. This box, when I received it, it says fragile on it and everything. But let me show you. Miss Box here. This is how she arrived. She beat up like this. So I don't blame that on Shani. That is not their fault. It is the fault of the shipping service. So yeah. Let's go ahead and swatch. Let go. Let's swatch a little bit of forget. Uh, let's swatch. Ooh, apology accepted. And we need one more. Ooh, let's get a little more of that. And then maybe a bright one. Let's do that brightest pink. Okay. Let's just do it right on here. Boop. Okay. Doop. 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 Hmm. Okay. I'm going to be completely honest and tell you the pigment on these is a little disappointing um and by a little I mean quite disappointing these swatches are not and should not be the end-all be-all of uh, deciding how products will work uh, let's go ahead and pack these colors onto a brush and actually see them in action doing what they're supposed to be doing used how they're supposed to be used okay so the first first brush we're gonna go ahead and use right out of the package is going to be the EC001 Tapered Crease Eyeshadow Brush. Can you read that? Is it backwards? Here you go. I actually think we're going to go ahead and take Avenged right here. It's one of the ones we swatched. Let's see how it performs with a brush just right onto the eye. I like, I always like to get a generous amount, but I'm not patting, I'm not, you know, bending the bristles and stuff in there. I'm just kind of patting it, loading it up little by little. And then a tip. And then we're gonna go ahead and just kind of swipe it on. I'm using these without primer right now so we can see just how they perform right on the skin. And because usually I honestly do not typically use a primer before I put my shadows, I just like them to be able to, you know, perform as they are. Okay, I'm putting this just right here in my crease. I am having to dip uh, quite a few times, but I personally um, prefer that only because I really like to be able to build and this is definitely a nice uh, buildable shadow, 
which as of right now um it's blending really nicely it's blending out really easily really nicely the next brush that i'm going to be pulling out of my brush set is going to be the el004 pointed eyeliner brush can you see that can you see that eh? no maybe not I'm gonna be using this to cut my crease. Now this is where you're gonna to get to see the shadow perform um, something like if something like it would if it was on a primer. A straight out of the pack that um, first eyeshadow brush that I dipped into did shed just one hair while I was um, putting on my eyeshadow and packing that there in my crease. But that is not that big of an issue to me. I have shedding with just about every single um, new brush that I've ever had. And with the shiny brushes, which I have had before, I've never had this particular set, um, but the shiny brushes that I have had before, the shedding is always very, very minimum at the very beginning, and then I never have a problem with shedding again. Next up from the brush set, I am gonna go ahead and pull out the ES002 Wide Eyeshadow Brush. You can see that right there. Can you see that? Is the light too bright? I don't know, but you can see it. Can you see it? I wanna go ahead and go into the Revival Remix palette here. Maybe we can find a nice bright shade to kind of just pop there. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take Forget right here and just kind of really swirl this around and pack it into the brush. <laughs> this is definitely not the type of color that I would normally use on a lid like the shimmery blue kind of thing oh 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 okay so <laughs> i was not expecting it to have this payoff that is nice that is nice just kind of take off whatever's extra there because i want to use this same brush um and go in back to the revival palette um with this purple here uh, that is comeback, I'm just gonna pack this up a little bit on this brush. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Now, this is one of those things that can be really tricky uh, for shadows to perform well like this because they're not being placed on directly on the skin. They're not being placed on a base. They're being placed on other shadows. So um, this really shows how well a shadow can cling. One thing that... Um, I feel with this palette is I really wish it had a black and that's how I personally feel um because I always like to have that that to go in and really really deepen and create that drama but that is simply my personal preference I do think this palette is well put together as it is okay so now to go ahead and just make sure that that is blended nicely I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with a little bit of Avenged. You should be using the same brush. Gonna go ahead and pack that in. I'm gonna put this right over where I just applied that deeper shade just to kinda get those edges. We love blended edge. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's not good. This is bad. Yeah, that's my fault that it's so smudgy. It's not the product, that is me. My mistake, my mistake. We are going to take this brush. This is the ES004 Flat Smudger Eyeshadow Brush. You see that? You see that? And I'm, I'm going to use that shade that I pointed out towards the beginning. I um, swatched it called Awoken, this brighter kind of off-white pearlescent shade. And I'm going to do that right in the center. Not the center, you know what I mean, the inner corner. <laughs> We're not going to use it wet because we want to just see how it performs on its own. That definitely is there. Um, it is definitely there I like it I went ahead and wet the brush a little bit let's see what it does wet oh 
yeah. With the wet, it really increases the opacity of the shadow itself, and it really does pack itself in there. I think I do want to pull some of this wet right up into the crease just to give it a little bit more definition. Just to kind of give it that little, that extra cut and openness right there in the front. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I like it. I like what it does, especially when a work just a little wet. It does pack on really nicely. Next, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the EL001 Silky Angled Eyeliner Brush. And I'm going to use this for my brows. Okay, so now I'm going to reach into the Revival palette and see if there's something deep enough for me to try to sketch on a brow. Let's go ahead and see um, if we can use this, maybe the Unstoppable, which I'm assuming like bronzer contour shade right here. Let's go ahead and use a little bit of that just wet and see what happens. <laughs> Let's see what this does over here. Oh yeah. She's there. That's definitely um, a little darker than I was expecting it to be, which is totally fine with me because like I'm doing brow. Normally I would use something even, well actually, something a little darker, but uh, this shade is actually fine. So I am actually okay with how this performed. Okay, I am back. I got my brows sketched on and then cleaned up a little bit with some of that cream white um, cream. <laughs> and now I'm going to go ahead and pack a little bit of a shadow um, onto, onto the cream white. But I'm going to go ahead and take Awoken by itself and dab that on under this eyebrow without glowed up underneath. <laughs> It's nice. Uh, the pigment really shows up when placed on that primer. Um, it is not super incredibly opaque, but it is definitely um, opaque enough and has that wonderful, wonderful um, kind of sheen to it that really just gives it a nice, a nice pop. Underneath my eye, I'm going to go ahead and take Avenged again and just kind of use this liner brush. Now we are done with the eyes, so let's go ahead and dip into the blush and contour elements of these palettes. We're going to go ahead and start with the Revival palette and dump some of... I think we're going to go with Transformed and see uh, what that looks like on our skin. We're going to pull out the BB009 Flat Stippling Blend and Contour Brush. Ew, ew, ew. We're just going to take a little whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's go ahead, stipple that into place. Let's see what this looks like. No, I have not done any contour. I think this shade is just a little too close to my natural skin tone, which is fine. So let's go ahead and do um, Unstoppable, the darker shade that we had used just a little earlier for our eyebrows. Dust off the excess. And let's stipple it in. I do think she's a bit dark if I were to do something daytime. As a drag performer, one thing that I do contour is my forehead. I contour my forehead pretty intensely, more um, right around my hairline. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take this one that I think is a little bit uh, too dark for my cheeks for like a day-to-day -day look. Uh, but I think it'll actually work really, really nicely for my forehead, especially when I do a black like filling in my hairline around and whatnot. I think this will be really, really nice to blend this into the skin. So let's just go ahead and um, tap this around the perimeters of my forehead as well. I'm 
I'm gonna take a little bit of transformed and run it down the sides of my nose see if maybe transformed is dark enough to give me a little bit of something there yeah that works for me so let's go ahead and open up the um, revival remix palette now and dip into some of these uh, what I assume are illuminators and blushes let's go ahead and see what we can do with this uh, yeah let me let's go ahead and swatch all of these yeah here we go I'm gonna go ahead and give them to you right here yeah. those are nice um yeah let's go ahead and put a little bit of this just right on my nose oh yeah I don't know if you can see it in the camera that is definitely the good old pink toned for illuminator on my cheeks I'm gonna go ahead and take the EB002 flat blender eyeshadow brush right here if you can see mm -hmm. and I do think I'm gonna go ahead and go into that like fam over here can y'all see that I don't know how well it's picking up on camera definitely there um, yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and try this orange orangey peachy kind of thing we're just gonna dip into it we're not gonna swirl it around we're just gonna dip into it Boop. excess mm, yeah so let's go ahead and open up the dreamy dozen 12 piece matte lip liner set by shiny cosmetics I'm really excited to get into this Oh, right here Ooh, yes so you can see the color selection very very nice very nice I'm really excited so let's go here do you have a favorite do you have a favorite uh, let me ooh, let me know <laughs> in the comments which one is your favorite so let's go ahead and do something very neutral uh, I'm going to take we're gonna take salted caramel right here very soft um, I like it. It's gliding on very easily. Let me go ahead and um, shade in a little bit for you so you can see. That is a very... Ooh, I am so bad at swatching. That is... <laughs> it's a very pretty uh, brown. Okay, so this pencil is, um, it is very soft, which is lovely. For me personally, I like soft pencils because the hard ones tend to really like scrape off. Like I mentioned, I overdraw my top lip um, my, in my cupid's bow area, really, my points there. So overdrawing with a really hard pencil can literally lead to it just like completely scraping off the foundation. This uh, glided on pretty effortlessly over it. It did pick up some foundation, um, but it also did apply very well in comparison to other lip liners that I have used. This is definitely one that I would recommend. Okay, let's open Loving Coral right here, this collection. Ooh, oh, that is cute. You see it has its little holder. This is nice, this is nice. Uh, let's see this. This one is shorting can you see that let's give her a little swatch here on the back of the hand Ooh. Ooh, yep she's there uh, very very peachy um sorry if it just kind of almost disappeared on my skin um she applied nicely this uh feels like it's going to be hydrating which is one thing that i like i'm a little worried about lipsticks that do dry out my lips it just gets really uncomfortable after a long time of wear the downside is usually that lipsticks like these do need to be reapplied every so often uh well if wearing for a while which is fine by me i do think the color itself is very nice it is not normally the type of shade that I would go for um, but I went with it because it was a nice uh, kind of nude shade for uh, that would offer some type of relief from everything else that is going on on my face right now so now let's go ahead and just give these a quick swatch this one does come with its own brush 
Now, I think what I'm going to do is um, just on my eyes, kind of put these on there. Uh, let's go ahead and see how they feel. Okay, okay, yeah. Let's see how that looks a little. Oh yeah, that's nice, that's nice. Let's go ahead and put a bit of this just on the right in a corner portion and see how it makes that pop. And we'll put this pop right here in this inner corner. Can you see that in the camera? I'm not sure if you can. Uh, but in person, it shows up really nicely. In this mirror I'm looking at, um, it's just a really nice um, accent to what was already there. There are a few really pretty blue glitters that I'm gonna go ahead and dab onto my lid. I think we'll go ahead and go with bubbly. I think we're gonna go with bubbly right here and just kinda work our way in there and then pack that onto the lid. See what that does. It does add a nice contrast. It definitely gives a pop. I don't know if y'all can really see it too well on camera, like I mentioned, um, but in person, it does show up nicely. And I'm thinking of going in with this pretty, pretty uh, boomerang color and just kind of seeing what kind of pop that gives us. It is another very pretty color. Um, these glitters, I do think, work nicely. So yeah, I think those glitters are very nice uh, for good accents. If you just wanted to pop one all over your lid because you're feeling frisky and wanted to be sparkly one day, I uh, would say that I would recommend these for um, everyday, just kind of shimmery, glittery wear. <laughs> so it turns out there's always somewhere you can put glitter, always. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and take some of this uh, Shani Color Scope Face and Body Glitter in Aries and we're just going to, how is this, oh it has a little sifter, okay good. Some glitters don't come with sifters. The lips are still a little creamy so we're going to go ahead and just dab some of this on our finger and huh. So now that we have all of that, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting in drag and then I will check back in with you after a few hours of wear and we'll let you know my final thoughts. Okay, hey yo, hey yo, hello, hello y'all, I'm back. It has been how long? About going on six hours or so, at least five hours since wearing my makeup. Um, since I finished doing my makeup, I did um, my streaming for two hours, I ate some chicken nuggets, I did a virtual show on Instagram uh, for a friend, um, and then I ate some more food for dinner, um, just some um, pieces of meat uh, in a tortilla. So, uh, you know, and not, not a taco, I know what a taco is, I'm Mexican, but um, yeah, it's just that. I haven't done any touch-ups other than um, like using my powder puff because I get a little oily sometimes, but that has nothing to do with this makeup. Let me go ahead and pull out a mirror. Eww. Okay. So, what I'm seeing is that it actually stayed pretty well. I'm losing my paintbrush. So, the shadows, I think, are fine. The, as you can tell, I don't know if you can see this, um, but in the eyes, the glitters that we put on, um, they are definitely still there. They're definitely still there. Um, but they are not on there nearly as, um, nearly as intense as they were when we first applied them. But of course that is to be expected. I did not use a primer. I did not use any type of glitter primer or adhesive to make sure that they would stay long term. Um, same goes with the eyeshadows. Um, I do think that they stayed pretty well. Yeah, honestly, I can't say that I have any complaint. The only thing that I think I'd have to reapply is the illuminator, um, which I don't see anymore. But that's a pretty standard thing um, 
for me personally um i am a pretty oily person so throughout the day uh, things like illuminator and blush tend to really work their way off of my face fairly quickly. But aside from that, the lip, mm, I think it looks fine. Honestly, I think the pencil really stayed on. The liner stayed on. The lipstick, the lipstick is on. The glitter stayed on. The loose glitter that is theirs as well stayed on. Um, the eyebrows stayed on, which is also an eyeshadow, uh, not an eyeshadow, one the, it's a contour from one of the from one of the palettes here, Unstoppable. Here's my final thoughts on all of the products. Eyeshadows. Um, while they may not swatch particularly well, I um, had a good experience with them performing very well, actually being applied on the skin with a brush. Um, the one that I put on with the primer, which is that blue that was on my lid, um, performed incredibly well on just that little bit of a base, um, on that sticky white base that I used, the cream white. Um, so I think that these shadows used with a primer uh, are going to be absolutely excellent as I do think that they performed rather well without a primer which is how I like to go ahead and do makeup and test it. The lip products I think that they did do um, very well. The cream lipsticks and the um, 12 piece lip liner set that they gave me as well. Um, they, they stayed on. I've eaten two meals. Um, like I said, I've had my makeup on a total of about six hours now, just going on about six hours. Um, the lipstick stayed, the loose glitter stayed on. Um, I do recommend my lips do not feel chapped, they do not feel dry in any way, shape, or form. The lipstick does not feel heavy. Um, it applied really nicely. I do believe that it is hydrating to some extent, just based on the way that it feels. Um, the lip liner stayed in place. It's not feathering or anything crazy. Um, the brushes... I do like the brushes. I think I said that during um, the during the application process, but I do like the brushes. I'm gonna go ahead and use the brush cleaner a little later on to go ahead and clean the ones that I used. Um, they're, they're, I mean, they're packaged very nicely. They are um, dense. The duo fiber are very nice. They pick up product very nicely. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what else there is to say. And just about with all brushes, I get shedding right out of the box. Um, so it's nothing new and uh, when I did get any shedding on the ones that I used today it was just one or two hairs um, I'll give them a wash and if y'all want an update just feel free to go ahead and ask um, and I'll let you know but I've had their brushes in the past and have and shedding has never really been an issue past the first or second use um, and yeah I'm trying to remember what else I got but I think that's it I think that's it but I approve the all of it <laughs> Thank you so much again, Shani, for sending me this PR package. Um, for all of you that are just finished watching this, please know that I give 100% real and honest reviews all of the time uh, for this video, for any future uh, future videos that will be coming. Um, I am not going to beat around the bush. Doesn't matter if I was given product for free. Um, doesn't matter, you know, if it was a PR package, if it's a paid endorsement, whatever it may be. I will give full honest um, reviews and opinions. If you want me to review anything, leave uh, information in the comments on what you'd like me to do. Um, tell companies that I'm doing this if you want to. Uh, if you have a company that would like me to review your products, go ahead and send them my way. Feel free to get with me on any type of social media, on um, Twitter, on Instagram, on uh, Facebook, on here on YouTube. Um, yeah, and follow me on TikTok and join my Patreon, patreon.com slash Uh Yeah, I love you all. And till next time, I will um, see you soon. <laughs>